everybody. Today I'm going to explain what is sound masking using visual aids and demonstrate the same. So sound masking is a process of raising the threshold of audibility of one sound using in the presence of a louder sound or the masking sound. So there are two types of sound masking. One is temporal sound masking and the other is simultaneous sound masking. Today I'm going to explain to you what is simultaneous sound masking. Well, as the name suggests, masking takes place simultaneously. Let me go in more detail. Let's consider a guy named Sam. Well, we all agree we can see Sam's face. He has brown hairs and blue eyes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Sam to wear a mask. Well, let's say Sam chose to wear a Spider-Man mask. So what happened when he wears the mask? Well, we can no longer see Sam's face. Instead, we can see a Spider-Man mask. So what did happen? Like, did Sam vanish? Well, not quite. Sam is still present. Well, what the mask is doing is, is covering up Sam's face. Or the mask is masking Sam's face. Well, sound masking can also be like explained with a similar analogy. Well, only difference is we can, we're going to replace Sam with a 70 dB noise signal and the mask with a 90 dB noise signal. Now notice the 70 and 90 dB, they're the amplitude of the sound waves. So, you know, like it, the, it de defines the loudness of the sound waves. Well, for sound masking, the frequency doesn't really matter, but uh, as long as the amplitude difference is really large. So, let's say what I'm going to do is I'm going to play to you the 70 dB noise signal. Well, you will hear the 70 dB noise signal loud and clear just as you could see Sam's face clearly. But what happens when I introduce a 90 dB noise signal? Well, when, when, when the 90 dB noise signal gets introduced, it raises the threshold of audibility from 70 dB to 90 dB. So what happens? Like, it just raises the threshold and you will no longer hear the 70 dB because, you know, you can only hear the 90 dB. Just as how the mask was like covering up Sam's face. You, know, you can no longer see Sam because you can you're you're able to see the Spider-Man mask. So it just uh, this is how uh, sound masking works. It just raises the threshold of audibility so that you can no longer hear the you know quieter sound. In this case, the quieter sound is 70 dB, but now since there is another loud sound present, which is a 90 dB uh, signal, you can only hear the 90 dB noise signal. And as this process takes place simultaneously, it's referred to as simultaneous sound masking. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the sound masking using the uh, software. Hey there, this is a multi-tone generator app that I was talking about. So I'm going to use this to demonstrate the sound masking effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play two notes, uh, that is 1000 Hz and 2000 Hz, independently. I want you to listen how they sound uh, independently. And then I'm going to play them together to demonstrate the sound masking effect. All right, let's get started. Let me start by playing the thousand hertz note. All right, this is how a thousand hertz note sound like and two thousand hertz note at the same amplitude. All right, this is how a two thousand hertz note sound like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play both at the same amplitude to show you that masking does not take place at the same amplitude. Clearly, you can hear both the tones. So watch what happens when I increase the amplitude of this note. You should not be able to hear this note because this note will be masking this note. Alright, watch what happens. Alright, you're able to hear this note because it's simultaneously masking a thousand hertz note. Alright, this is a quick demonstration of simultaneous sound masking. The reason what's happening here is this note is raising the threshold of audibility because you know it's it's being played at a higher amplitude than this one. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.